Hello and welcome back to another lecture. I learned something new today and I want to share it with you. Until now, we have always used PuDY to SSH into our EC2 instance from a Windows computer. In this lecture, I will show you how to use PowerShell to SSH into your EC2 instance from a Windows computer. To use PowerShell to SSH into your EC2 instance on a Windows computer, the first thing we have to do is create a key pair. In the management console, Type EC2 in the search box up here and select EC2. In the EC2 dashboard on the left side, come down to Network and Security. We are going to select Key Pairs, then select Create Key Pair. We are going to give our key pair a name. Once you enter the name for your key pair, the key pair type is going to be RSA and under private key format, make sure you select the dot pen. And once you select the dot pen, click create key pair. And we have successfully created our key pair. Anytime you create a key pair, two keys will be generated for you. The key you are seeing in the management console, this is called the public key. And this is the key we upload to our EC2 instance when we launch it. The key that is downloaded to my computer, this is the private key. And this is the key we need to be able to SSH into our EC2 instance. So that is the first thing we need to do. We need to create a key pair and the format of the key pair needs to be pen file. Then once you've done that, the next thing I want you to do is open PowerShell on your computer. So click the start menu here. Then type PowerShell. In case if you are not seeing what I'm typing, it is showing on my other screen. So just type PowerShell. Once you type PowerShell, you are going to see the Windows PowerShell icon. Select it. Once you select the PowerShell icon to open it, it is going to open this for you. And here, this is the current folder my PowerShell is in. So this is saying the current folder I am in is the admin folder on my computer. So on my computer, if I go to the C drive, there will be a users folder in the C drive. And in that users folder, there will be an admin folder. So let's look at it. On my computer, if I open the file explorer, you can see I have the C drive here. If you click on the C drive, let me move this to the side so you can see it. In the C drive, there's a folder called users. If I select users and in the users folder, there's a folder called admin. So if I select admin, this is where PowerShell is in. PowerShell is in this admin folder. So what we need to do next is the pen file we downloaded to our computer. We have to put it in this admin folder. You can also create another folder where you put this pen file. If you do create another folder to put this pen file, you just have to make sure you change your directory to that folder. So I'm just going to put my pen file in this admin folder because this is the default folder that PowerShell goes in every time I open it. So what I'll do is I'll right click here and I'll click show in folder to see where I downloaded that pen file. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to cut it. Then I'll go back to my other folder and I'm going to paste it in here. So I'll right click somewhere in here and paste it there. So you can see, I just paste my key pair, the one that says my EC2 key in this admin folder. That is the second thing we need to do. Then once you've done that, I'll just close this and I'll close this for now. The third thing we need to do is launch our EC2 instance. So while we are in the EC2 service, I'm going to select dashboard up here. On the EC2 dashboard, I'm going to launch a new instance. I'm going to select launch instance and click launch instance. It is going to be Amazon Linux 2 AMI. I'll select it. It is going to be a T2 micro. I'll select next. For the network, I'm going to launch this EC2 instance in the default VPC. And for the subnet, you can select any subnet in the default VPC. I'm using the default VPC in the Northern Virginia region. Then once I've selected that, I'll click next to add storage. 
I'll leave the storage as default. Click next to add tag. I'm going to give it a tag name. I'll call it my EC2. Then I'll click next to configure security group. On the security group page, we are going to create a new security group. So let's call this my EC2 security group. And once you've entered your security group name, we are going to open the SSH port on port 22. But always remember the source of your SSH should always come from your IP address. So on that source, I'm going to select this drop down and I'll select my IP. By selecting my IP address, only my computer will be able to SSH into this EC2 instance. Then we are going to click next to review and launch review everything and launch your instance and on this page make sure you select the key pair you created i'm going to choose an existing key pair and i'll select this drop down i'll select my ec2 key pair that i created i'll acknowledge and launch my instance then i'll view my instance the next thing i'm going to do is wait for the state of this ec2 instance to change to running and once the state has changed to running we are going to open PowerShell and SSH into it. And there you go. The state of my EC2 instance has changed to running. So what I want you to do is select it. And once you select it, you are going to see the public IPv4 address of your EC2 instance here. Copy this public IPv4 address by selecting this box here. Then open PowerShell again. Once you open the Windows PowerShell, Remember that the current directory you are in needs to be the same directory where you put the pen file. In my case, I put my pen file in the admin directory and that is the current directory I'm in. So to SSH into my EC2 instance now, all I have to do is type SSH space minus I space the name of my key pair. I called my key pair my EC2 key dot pem. Make sure you add the extension. Then space again. Then we are going to type EC2 hyphen user at the public IPv4 address of our EC2 instance that we just copied. So once you type that, remember it is SSH minus I, the name of your key pair with the extension the username of your EC2 instance at the public IPv4 address. Then once you type that, press enter. And it is going to give you this message, type yes. And press enter. And there you go. We have now SSH into our EC2 instance. You can see it says Amazon Linux 2. And you can see here, it is EC2 at my IP address. Here you can start running the commands on your EC2 instance. Moving forward, this is another option you can use to SSH into your EC2 instance. And I found this method easier than PODI, so I'll be using this method. Please let me know if you prefer this method or if you prefer using PODI. Once you are done with your EC2 instance and you want to exit, you can either close your Windows PowerShell or you can type exit in here. And there you go. This is how you use the Windows PowerShell to SSH into your EC2 instance. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.